Spring Flamingo is a planar bipedal walking robot developed at the MIT Leg Laboratory. The robot weighs approximately 12 kilograms and has a hip height of one meter. It has an actuated hip, knee, and ankle joint on each leg. Six identical series elastic actuators in the body provide power to the joints. Series elastic actuators allow for good force control and shock tolerance. The actuators consist of a motor followed by a timing belt reduction and a ball screw. The ball screw nut drives a block which pushes on four compression springs. The springs then push on the output shaft. The actuator is attached to a cable which goes around an idle pulley. A linear potentiometer measures the spring deflection and provides feedback for a force controller. With this scheme, moderate dynamic range is achieved. The actuator has a few ounces of friction while it can accurately output forces over 100 pounds. When the actuators are off, there is significant joint friction. But when the actuators are commanded to output zero force, joint friction is greatly reduced. Spring Flamingo is strong enough to perform two-legged deep knee bends. Here the robot is using its feet to actively balance. Spring Flamingo is constrained to walk around a circle with a 15 meter perimeter. Counterweights balance the weight of the boom and the power cables. The robot senses joint positions with rotary potentiometers and detects the ground by monitoring heel deflection. No force sensors are located in the legs. Spring Flamingo's walking algorithm consists of intuitive control strategies which control height and pitch, ensure proper support transitions in swing leg placement, and control forward walking speed. Each strategy is implemented with virtual model control, a descriptive control language which uses virtual components attached to the robot. With virtual model control, torques are commanded at the joints to make the robot behave exactly as if the virtual components are really there. The strategy for height control is to maintain a straight stance leg by applying a vertical force on the body larger than its weight. A virtual damper is used to reduce bouncing while a physical kneecap prevents the knee from inverting. Level pitch is maintained with a virtual torsional spring damper mechanism connected to the body through the stance leg. A simple state machine is used to ensure proper support transitions for the walking gait. The robot can either be in left support, right support, or double support. Single support to double support transitions occur when the body travels a certain distance in front of the support leg. Double support to single support transitions occur when the body travels over the next support leg. The swing leg is servoed somewhat to mirror the stance leg and set down at approximately the desired stride length. A virtual spring damper mechanism is attached between the foot and the body with the spring set point changed in order to servo the swing leg. Several strategies are used for forward speed control. Each of these strategies relies on the observation that when the center of mass is in front of the foot center of pressure, the robot accelerates. And when the center of mass is behind the foot center of pressure, the robot decelerates. By modulating the net acceleration over a complete stride, speed is controlled. For example, the robot pitches its body forward to speed up and backward to slow down. It commands the center of pressure location on its support foot based on a velocity error. During double support, more weight is placed on the rear leg to speed up or the front leg to slow down. If the robot is going too fast, a longer stride length is used followed by a quicker transition to single support. Similarly, if the robot is going too slow, the robot stays in single support a little longer before transitioning to double support. With this simple algorithm, Spring Flamingo is fairly robust to external disturbances. Spring Flamingo walks over moderately cluttered terrain without detecting it or explicitly adapting to it.
For more formidable slopes, such as this 15 degree ramp, modifications have to be made to the flat ground algorithm. The robot detects the slope blindly using only its feet, much like an animal would if it had its eyes closed. The robot extends its support leg while walking uphill and bends it when going downhill. Here, the robot uses the same algorithm to walk over rolling terrain consisting of alternating 15 degree upslopes and downslopes. Spring Flamingo can walk at a range of speeds, from very slow to moderate human walking speed. The robot's top speed, while still maintaining coordination, is one meter per second, as seen here. Spring Flamingo's top graceful walking speed is currently limited by its small stride length, long swing time, and long support transition time. <laughs> 